I think I remember how. I think. Dr. Bast is a founding father of nautical archaeology, of working underwater. The man credited with pioneering this nautical archaeology is George Bass. In fact, George Bass has recently uncovered some spectacular new artifacts. This is unreal. I've never seen anything come out of the sea like this before. Bass has made a remarkable discovery, a shipwreck from the golden age of Greece. George Bass is the founder of a discipline, and a discipline that wasn't easy to found. It's difficult enough to excavate on land, but he did it underwater. He's one of the few people I know who had a Navy contract to develop technology for mapping things on the seafloor. The Navy was so impressed, they said they'd never seen such good pictures before, that they then paid for us to develop this uh, so we could map a wreck from a two-person submersible and the Asherah was the first research submersible ever commercially built in the United States for any purpose. And I don't think anybody oceanographers knows it was archaeologists that started that. George Bass is the founder of the Institute for Nautical Archaeology, which is arguably the world's most prestigious institute for underwater archaeology. And he created a model that other archaeological institutes throughout the globe uh, have followed as a model for how to excavate a site. Everyone has looked to the Institute of Nautical Archaeology and in particular to George Bass for how to do this. George's dream was to be able to set up an institute. And so by forming the Institute of Nautical Archaeology, we have archaeologists working on four continents and then by affiliated with Texas A&M University, which developed a, a graduate program in nautical archaeology, we've had students from about 20 countries come to us. And they go back and take our methods to their own countries. So we're very pleased by by spreading it that way. George's legacy, I think, will be to have shipwrecks play a crucial framework and a crucial role in telling the story of, of contact and communications or these fundamental links between humans. George has been instrumental in doing some of the most important shipwrecks ever excavated. George's research is tied into some of the earliest signs of, of modern civilizations as we know them. In the Mediterranean where George worked is a place that is defined by the sea. Without studying what George did, we wouldn't have a history of the Mediterranean, we just have a history around the Mediterranean. So much of what we do on any given project, the techniques we use and the goals that we hope to achieve were really laid out um, by him. He stood on the shoulders of others. In turn, many of us stand on his shoulders. Archaeology is important because it does bring the past into the present and the importance of considering the past in our understanding of how the world works now. The AIA created the Adolf Bandelier Award in 2008 to recognize individuals whose service to the discipline of archaeology has been outstanding, and I can't think of a more appropriate candidate than George Bass. George, on behalf of the Archaeological Institute of America, congratulations on the Bandelier Award, and thanks for everything that you've given us over the years.